Hello, and welcome to yet another online exclusive Mixed Review, the show where you hear views from both perspectives on a movie, positive and negative. I'm Edward Erickson, and today's movie for review is Alfred Hitchcock's 1958 thriller Vertigo, starring James Stewart and Kim Novak. Scotty, an ex-cop with a terrible fear of heights, is hired by an old buddy to follow his wife around. As Scotty begins following the woman, he watches her slowly descend into madness, but also slowly falls in love with her. Vertigo, a feeling of dizziness, a swimming in the head. Figuratively, a state in which all things seem to be engulfed in a whirlpool of terror, as created by Alfred Hitchcock in the story that gives new meaning to the word suspense. A beautiful girl haunted by the desperate, unexplainable urge to destroy herself. A man possessed by the paralyzing vertigo that made him afraid of high places. Now it's time for The Good Review. Alfred Hitchcock is a master of cinema. There's no two ways about it. When you watch a Hitchcock piece, you can expect nothing less than pure genius. Vertigo is a stellar example of that, and Hitchcock is able to use the camera to tell just as much of the story as the dialogue would, giving life to a movie that would no doubt be bland in the hands of an unexperienced director. Bernard Ehrman's score is captivating and frightening, putting the viewer at an even higher level of suspense. Edith Head's use of color to develop the symbolism throughout the piece by way of costume is astonishing and succinct. But beyond the cinematic flourishes, the story itself is by far one of the more captivating by Hitchcock. The movie has so many twists and turns, and the chemistry between James Stewart and Kim Novak is absolutely phenomenal. The film as a whole is an entire ensemble of some of the best artists film has ever seen, building off of each other's strengths and it deserves to be viewed by an audience a second, even a third time. I give Vertigo 5 out of 5 stars. And now, the bad review. Maybe it was just for the time, but boy do women not get good parts in movies. All the female characters in this movie are bland and are just there to serve different purposes for the story. Kim Novak's character is completely blah for up until two thirds of the way through the movie, and the character of Midge is just used as a tool for exposition that gets completely forgot about. No characters have interesting development, it all happens too suddenly to even be called development. James Stewart's character is just suddenly a mean-spirited guy, evil almost, except there was no build-up to it. It was just a trigger or something, and all of a sudden, he was cruel. The storytelling fluctuates between Hitchcock using the camera to tell the story, and having characters flat out tell the audience what is going on. Even though the film is only two hours long, which is actually pretty standard for most films nowadays, the movie really drags until about two-thirds of the way through. Still in all, might not be worth it to try to get through till the end because it ends almost as confusingly as it begins. I give Vertigo zero stars. And there you have it. You heard a review of Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo from someone who liked it and from someone who didn't. Now, if you want to see it or not, that's up to you. Vertigo's not your style? Try Rear Window. Too much Jimmy Stewart? Watch The Birds. Whatever you do, make sure you subscribe to keep in the loop for new reviews. I'm Everett Erickson. Thank you for listening, and see you next time.